beautiful place to have a silent retreat. Do you have any questions rise up in you throughout the day? Uh, yeah, a couple. Um, I noticed that every time you go to sleep, whether it's take a nap or go to sleep for the night, the default state that I wake up in is not the one that I will usually go to sleep in unless I did a bad job the day before stewarding present stuff like um, it's like when I go to sleep my subconscious kind of takes over or whatever then I'll wake up feeling not as not as present or not as um, it, it's like I have to kind of almost force myself in those times as a discipline to like focus on the breath because when I'm like that I don't have any desire to do it other than me telling myself that I know it would be good for me but it's not like I, the habit is even built up but then other times when I am feeling present then then I don't have to convince myself to do it it's like yeah I want to do it hmm. so I notice that happens um, just throughout my life but at the retreat too that habit in energy, the, the mind energy, the habit energy. Um, <clears throat> it is almost always uh, feels like work. Even if you approach um, sitting meditation or just conscious breathing, the mind energy will initially especially for the first handful of breaths feel like work especially when you first started mm -hmm. anytime any practitioner of, of the breath work or mindfulness begin they almost always it feels like work all of those in the mentorship and, and students when they start oh, it's so hard it's funny that it's hard to breathe <laughs> it's uh, it's amazing how it can be difficult to do the things that are most effortless because the mind energy is always uh, working with tension it, it's 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 not present only only in the present when you bring your mind and body to the place of present um, is there peace and rest so This includes waking up. Waking up is actually one of the daily practices that I'm, I didn't have any intention of talking to you about it today, but um, waking up is actually a daily practice of mindfulness that I'm gonna have all of those in the summer mentorship practicing. And, um, Um, <clears throat> whether it's an alarm like um, a gentle reminder alarm it could be your voice it could be a gong a certain gong it could be a um, tie a ribbon on the ceiling or above your bed or on the nightstand or you know wh whatever but a, a gentle reminder that when you wake up wake up in mindfulness so first thing when your eyes open up you feel the the sunlight piercing or maybe it's really early and there's no sunlight but you're conscious you're you're waking up then wake up Take three deep breaths, deep in breath, slow out breath, deep in breath, slow out breath. And you can, if you want, you can say things, something like, I wake up 
to 24 brand new hours or something like that. 24 brand new hours of mindfulness. I wake up. I greet the sun. Whatever. Whatever you want to say. Okay. But um, wake up. Take those three breaths. Set up in your bed. And begin. And as you're going through those first few things that you do, whether it's brushing your teeth or whatever it is that you're doing, just be mindful. So you have that reminder. And then you have your breath. And then you're practicing that mindfulness as you walk to wherever it is that you're going, as you brush your teeth, as you take a sip of water, or whatever it is that you're doing. Practice the mindfulness. And and this is a practice. Waking up is a daily practice, just like sitting meditation is a practice. Your habit energy has created this thing, as most people's do, you know how people will say they're they're either morning they're a morning person and some people will say they're not a morning person. This is just habit energy. That's all it is. And those that say they're not a morning person, they don't like the morning. Ah. They're not big fans of the first waking up. They're kind of cranky. You need to give them space in the morning, that sort of thing. Well, just realize that uh, that's habit energy. And if it's not pleasurable, then why are we doing it? So you'll start by practicing what I just said. Three deep breaths. And those three deep breaths, that should be before you ever sit up, before you ever do a thing. And so for in some way, remind yourself and if you're having a hard time remembering, then use a physical reminder. Watching our video, give us a thumbs up, comment, thoughts, questions in the section below. Let us know what you want to hear from us. Subscribe to our channel for more life-changing content. And as always, check the section below for our website, for live events, where we'll be, what we're up to, more about us, and our online school website is listed below as well. We love you. We're glad you're here. We want to hear from you. We're in this with you.